Hello everyone. In the last video, we discussed about what is an architecture business cycle, what is a software architecture, and what are architectural patterns, reference models, and reference architectures. The next concept what we are going to discuss is about architectural structures and views. Coming to a structure, as we have already discussed, what is a structure? A structure is nothing but the set of elements. Set of elements, how they are existing either in a software or in a hardware. Suppose if we consider a module structure. Module structure is nothing but the set of system modules. A module structure is nothing but the set of system modules and how they are organized. The organization between the modules will be specified. That is called as the module structure. Here we are defining the architectural structures in three groups. One is a module structure. Second one is component and connector structure. And the third one is a allocation structure. Coming to the module structure, okay. what is a module structure? Here, whatever the elements that we are considering are nothing but the modules. Each module is a single unit of implementation. And here, the modules will represent the code-based way of considering the system. And they will be assigned a specific functional responsibility. Each of the module will be having its specific functional responsibility. Suppose if I consider a college management system. There I can consider each department as a module. Each department in the college can be considered as a module. Again, this department module can further be divided into sub modules like student module faculty module like that classes you are dividing again the entire module into sub modules here you must be able to answer what is the primary functional responsibility of each of the modules the Find functional responsibility of each of the module must be specified very clearly and how the modules are making use of other modules and whether the relationship between the modules is specified very clearly the relationships the generalization relationships between the modules must be specified very clearly that is called as that is regarding your module structure when coming to the component and connector structures here the elements will be considered as the runtime components here whatever the elements that we are considering are nothing but the runtime components runtime components are the principal units of computation the unit which is being computing which is during its runtime, you will be considering those elements as components and the connections between those elements will also be specified. Here the connections are used to provide the data flow from one element to the other element. In module structure, our elements are nothing but the modules and in component and connector structures, the elements are the runtime components and connectors are nothing but the communication what you are providing between the components communication vehicles it acts like the <coughs> excuse communication vehicle among the components and this when coming to this component and connector structure it helps us to answer the questions like what are the major executing components and how they are interacting with each other what are the major executing components that are present in the system and how they are interacting with each other what are the major sharing data source okay what are the major shared data stores whatever the data stores that you are having and how they are being shared among all the elements that must be specified and which parts of the system are being replicated whether there are any replicas in the system and what part of the system is being replicated and how the data progress within the system which part of the system can run in parallel concurrent execution okay which part allows the concurrent execution 
all these questions must be answered during this component and connector structure and coming to this allocation structures what are allocation structures they show the relationship between the software elements and the elements in the external en environment in which the software is created and executed the relationship between the software elements and the elements in one or more of its external environments in which the software is created and executed will be represented with the help of allocation structures and here you can answer the questions like what processor does each software element execute on when a software element is being executed what processor does it require to get executed in what filing is each element stored during its development stage testing stage and during its building stage okay what is the assignment of the software elements to the development teams all these type of questions should be able to be answered during this allocation structure okay these are the three different structures software structures what you are having in the uh, architecture uh, different types of uh, software structures okay and what are the software components so common software structures architectural structures that you are having here that is nothing but this one here this is nothing but the common software architecture structures common software architecture structures here you are specifying <coughs> under module what are the common software architecture structures under component and connector what are the software uh, structures and under allocation what are the software structures let us see in detail coming to the module structure the first one what you are having under module structure is decomposition what do you mean by decomposing identifying the individual modules decomposing the entire system into modules and again further divide those modules into sub modules unless and until recursively this process must be uh, continued unless and until they are very small enough such that it is very easily understood by the developers or by the architects and coming to the next one that is uses here how the uses is nothing but the uh, how the units are related will be represented using this uses relation one unit will be using the another the, the one uh, output of one unit will be supplied as the input for the other unit that relationship will be represented using this user structure next one is layered structure layer structure is nothing but you have to design the architecture in such a way that the implementation uh, should have the hidden values from the layers above to the layers below such that it will be providing you the portability the portability will be provided and the next one is class or generalization the class structure will allows to specify whether it is reusable or not and whether the Ed functionalities can be additionally incremented you can increment the functionality of that particular uh, system or not all these can be specified using this class or generalization coming to the next one that is a component and connector structure coming in this here you are having <coughs> process uh, process client or server concurrency shared data okay what do you mean by client server client server is nothing but this is useful for separating the concerns from physically you are distributing the units you are physically distributing the units in order to have the load balanced between all the units okay and the next one is concurrency concurrency as you all know what are the units that can execute parallelly 
okay already we have discussed this point in component and connector structures while well, uh, discussing about component and connector structures i told you that uh, in, in this structure you must be able to specify the components which can execute parallelly this identification must be done in the early stages of the design itself in the early stages of the design itself you need to identify the requirement for managing the issues which are associated with the parallel execution next one is your process you can uh, have a single process or a multiple process my process is uh, what do you mean by process here the units uh, are nothing but the processes or the threads what you are having what do you mean by thread a process in execution and they are connected with each other either by communication synchronization or some exclusive operations they will be connected with each other and the last one what you are having here is the shared data this structure comprises of the components and the connectors which are used to create store and access the data and access the persistent data that is specified in this shared data and the next structure what are uh, having is uh, allocation structure what are the common software architect uh, structures that you are having in this uh, allocation structure that is work assignment deployment and implement coming to work assignment here it specifies this structure will assigns the responsibility for implementing and integrating the modules the responsibility for implementing and integrating the modules to the appropriate development teams will be done with this structure next one is deployment this view allows the engineer to specify about the performance of the system to identify whether the integrity of the system is good or not whether the system is having high security or not whether the system is easily available or not will be specified during this deployment structure and the last one what you are having here is implementation structure implementation and this is a very critical for the management of development activities and building processes okay it's very difficult why because uh, during this implementation they have to see that all the functionalities have being satisfied and after discussing all these uh, structures we must be able to choose the structures we are having a number of architectural structures we are having a, we have discussed a number of architectural structures and the useful of usefulness of these architectural structures and which structure should an architect work on when you are having number of architectural structures which structure should the architect choose and which structure uh, for which structure the architect has to develop the documentation okay surely not for all the different structures what we have discussed maybe one uh, out of all the different structures what we have discussed we'll be choosing only one structure among all those structures in 1995 philip kruchin he is a person who has uh, published a paper where he described the concept of architecture comprising the separate structures and advised to concentrate only on four different views what are the four different views that he discussed is about logical view process view development view and the physical view and these four views are again they in turn be connected they are having the connection to your different uh, structures that is your module structure component connector structure and the allocation structure coming to this logical view logical view is nothing but here the elements are the key values what you are having in just like your object oriented world okay here in a object oriented world what are the elements that you are having the objects and the classes this logical view is nothing but it can be related to your module structure and the second one is the process view and this view will address specify whether concurrency of the functionality can be done whether the functionalities can be executed parallelly or not whether the functionalities can be distributed or not therefore it is called as a component and connector view also 
the next one what you are having here is excuse me development view the development view is uh, shows the organization which consists of the software modules and the individual subsystems and they will be uh, in this allocation view it will be mapping the software to the development environment the software will be mapped to the development environment they can uh, therefore this can be considered as the allocation structure in the last one physical view this also can be considered as the allocation view and this view will map other elements onto the processes and specifies the communication nodes also the, how the communication will be done between the elements between the units will also be specified these are the different architectural structures and the different architectural views what we are having thank you